Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Yanawa, Yahweh, Akkad. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Bashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Mashlam ha, boys. Mashlam meh, girls. How are you? You're now listening to Israelite Tales. And today, we have a very interesting tales that you may be able to use in your own life. Today's topic is about the bully, bully, and the bystanders on Israelite tells for Yasha Allah, Israel. David was a very small boy for his age. He kept to himself. He wore very thick glasses. He came from a very, very poor family in the hood. And he was the perfect target for the bullies. This wasn't a good thing. Rather than experiencing the glory of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, of God in Christ, at the synagogue, at church, David experienced the terror, the terror, the terror of being the target of bullying. Are there any of you listening to me today that are a target of bullying? See, David was too. He spent his Shabbat, which is Saturday. See, according to the scriptures, according to the Holy Bible, God created the heaven and earth within six days, and on the seventh day, he rests. It was all changed by the Roman Catholic Church in the year 325 A.D., to worship on Sundays because they will worship the sun, which God warned us not to do. But nevertheless, David and his family worship on the proper day, which is the Shabbat, the seventh day. So he spent his Saturdays at the Shabbat service running. Yes, literally running. A group of older boys who were generally viewed as leaders and good kids would actually come after David in a very malicious game of chase. And it was frightening to David. How many of you listening to me today are experiencing this maybe at school, maybe in your church, maybe elsewhere? <laughs> Hey, David, 
Yeah? Give me your lunch money. Why? Well, because I'm a bully and I'm going to take your lunch money. Oh. Well, give me your lunch money now. Well, I don't want to. Well, yeah, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich then. You can have that. Ugh. Oh. David, give me your lunch money now. Or else. Give me your lunch money now. Or else. No, I don't want to. Well, I'll give you something. A knuckle sandwich. Ugh. Oh, oh. Give me oh, your lunch oh. money now. Oh, oh. Or else. Oh, oh. I don't want to. Give me. <laughs> Give me it now. Get now. Time to take your lunch money. Now, what do you got? <laughs> David is terrified of Esau, so he sneaks refuge under a car. Dang it. My daddy told him not to go in the car. You got lucky this time, David. You got lucky this time, but I got your lunch money. Oh, no. That's... Oh, no. Well, I'm screwed. I gotta get out of here. Oh no, oh no. Ah! Meanwhile, David is under the car hiding, teary and in tears. Is he gone? <gasps> what happened? Are you okay? Looks like you got bullied by somebody. What's his name? E e uh, Esau? Mm -hmm. You gotta stand up for yourself. Put some bass in your chest. I don't know how to fight. Hmm. He likes punching. Hmm. We gotta do something about that. What do you think? Stand up for yourself. How? I don't know how to fight. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna have to do something about this. Night one. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to take the high road. I know what that is. I think we're gonna go to a surface. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, your pa, Shalom, your pa, Shalom, I'm David. Um, how may I help you today? What brings you inside of the ministry? Did you enjoy the Shabbat service today? Um, how was everything at home with your appearance? Um, have you learned to say, um, the Shema prayer? In the Ibrit. And by the way, David, you don't seem to have any fringes on. Did you not learn in Shabbat classes that we're to wear fringes with a border of blue? <laughs> don't you see these fringes on my garment here? Ha 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 ha. We're supposed to wear fringes with a border of blue. Read the book of Numbers 15 and 38. 
make them fringes with a border of blue in their garments throughout their generations. But nevertheless, um, what's going on with you? How are you, um, your pa eats, uh, what brings you into my office today? He's been getting bullied every day! We don't know what to do! We need help. Uh, excuse me, um, who's been getting bullied every day, um, uh, what do you mean? Who, who's been getting bullied? He's been getting bullied by Esau. Who's he? Me. I've been getting bullied by Esau every week. David? Oh. Yeah. You've been getting bullied by Esau? Yeah. Esau, the good student? No, he's the best student when no one's looking. Esau is one of the leaders here. He's the leaders at the Children's Academy. You mean Esau? The Edomite? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me, Esau! He's been bullying you. Yeah, he's keep be keep beating me up, and I slipped outside and I fell on my face, and he keep punching me on my head. Just how long has that been going on? Every week in school. Oh, it's awful. Well, I'm gonna have a talk with Esau. Well, I'm gonna have a talk with Esau. I had no idea that he was actually being a bully. That is not going to go on in this congregation, this assembly. No bullying allowed. But one of the things that I'd like to tell you, one of the things that I'd like to tell you is you have to learn to stand up to a bully, David. Because if you walk away and you turn your back, the bullying will continue. Has he taken anything from you? Um, any kind of money or toy? Yeah, he took all my lunch money. He t he did what? He took all my lunch money. Bahashim Hamashiach Yahusha. He took your lunch money. Mm-hmm. Well, can your pa, I need you to go and get me Esau right now and tell him to report to my office this instant. I'm gonna have a word with Mr. Aishua. Esau. Right away. Hey, shalom, Esau. I've been hearing a very bad thing, and I'm hoping that it's not true. I've been hearing hearing that you've actually been bullying David. What is this that I hear? Uh, it's a lie. David's been bullying me. He's been calling me pooper butt, and he stole my lunch money. Well, both your pa and late David stated that you've actually been bullying little David for some time now, and you've taken his money. This assembly had no bullying until you showed up here, Esau. We invited you into this assembly and tried to accept you as one of our own. Now, I hope that you're not lying. I noticed, Esau, you're not wearing any fringes. Why is that? Why don't you have on any fringes? We told you that... In order to be a member of this congregation, you must wear fringes. See me? Fringes with a border blue in accordance with the law of Israel. We know that you're not an Israelite, Esau. We've been trying to allow you in, but it seems that you just keep causing problems. Um, just just wrath wherever you go, Esau. What is going on? Please, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be patient with you. What exactly is it? Well, uh, the reason why I'm not fr wearing fridges is because I'm a, re I'm a I'm not weirdo. I'm a, um, I, 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 um, I forgot them at home. I, I really, I forgot them. Uh, yeah, I forgot them. You forgot your fringes on the Shabbat? Are you kidding me? You should have fringes on all of your garments. Are you telling me that you forgot? Uh, uh, David, get over here. David, can it has this child been bullying you? Is what I've been told? Is this the gospel truth? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, he's please, lying. please, David, use your words. Use your words. Yes, has he bullied you or not? Yes, he And he swore is going to terribly upset me if I discover that you have been bullying <coughs> David. <coughs> wow, I gotta get something for this cough. Perhaps some herbal tea. 
uh, 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 okay then, I have been bullying him, but he's a weirdo, he keeps messing with my friends, and this other girl, she's a snitch, and David's a snitch too, David's a loser! Esau, now you listen here, that <laughs> will not be tolerated in this assembly. And you're snickering and giggling while I'm trying to tell you this. But that will not be tolerated in this assembly. So, Esau, I want you to submit your resignation from this assembly once and for all. I thought I was doing something correctly, but thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, you're not supposed to be in amongst our multitude. But we try to trust you. We try to go off for that love everyone's spirit, but apparently it is just not true. So Esau, we want you to leave this assembly, but before you do, you're going to apologize to little David. So Esau, um, we're going to have to dismiss you from this assembly. Um, Esau, um, bullying is not permitted. And bullying is a very dangerous thing. And to all of those of you out there in TV land and YouTube land, um, bullying, if you're being bullied, report it. And stand up to the bully. Turn it away from the bully often make it worse. The scripture does not support bullying. For the book of Matthew... 22 and 39 and says the second is like it love your neighbor meaning your brother as you do yourself now Esau if you love David you would not be bullying this child and as a result of this we're going to dismiss you from this assembly because since you've been attending here there's been nothing but trouble there's been reports about you in the past but I try to overlook them. So, fulfilling the scriptures again. Vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. Esau, I understand that your father Isaac blessed you by the sword. And I understand that's probably part of your nature. Bullying. You love to be a bully. When we look at the historical nature of what your forefathers have done, Esau, all of the world wars was started by your forefathers. So I guess it is in your blood. Yes, it is. Proving the scriptures to be right and exact. So all of the boys and girls out there, don't be bullies. David, you must learn to stand up for yourself. Esau, you're dismissed. You got anything before departing this assembly, Esau? I have one more thing. You and your friends suck. Uh, uh, I'm out of here. You guys are big turd heads. You see that? This guy Esau just fulfills the scriptures again and again. Did you see him strike me? And if the sad thing is, if I call the police, it could very well be an Edomite that shows up. And, hey, I might get tased just because we're melanated. Not to be racial or make this a racial event, but Esau is protected by his fellow brother. Now it's for you, David. You're going to have to learn to stand up to bullies. Is that understood? Yeah. You seem to be a very flexible child. Have you ever considered martial arts? No, I never knew how to fight. Speak up, Esau. That's one of the things that I don't like about you. For the Lord tells us how to speak in his scriptures in Isaiah 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Do you understand that, David? Yeah. Do you understand that King David was a king? Yes, that's in his name. A king cannot be weak. So you have a name that's to be honorable. Will you please start honoring the name? Am I a reincarnation of him? Well, what do you know about reincarnation? How do you like that? 
Bahashim Amashiach Yahweh You never know what's going to come from the mouth of a child in this day and age. Well, you very well could be, but that is not for me to say. What I need you to do now is to learn to stand up for yourself. Turning away from a bully will never work. Pause. David, um, I'm terribly sorry that no one noticed that this thing was actually going on. Um, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you go to an adult? Bullying is something that goes on consistently throughout the United States. The United States and throughout the world. And it will not be tolerated in this assembly. Now David, besides the bullying, where is your fringes? Where is your border of blue and fringes? David? I stole them. I'm not talking to you, Esau. I'm talking to David. The law states that you're supposed to wear fringes throughout your garments. And to those of you out there in TV land, this show, The Israelite, this show is designed and geared to teach you the truth according to the Bible. In Numbers 15, 38, seeing that all of us were supposed to wear fringes on our garments. Meanwhile, your pa is washing dishes and Esau's sister, um, Becky, comes up. Now, one of the things Noah Dorf realizes what's truly happening until David had actually lost his footing one afternoon and fell on his face on the concrete and he was bleeding. So as you see, they all went before the priest, the Kahan. So rather than lie there, David tried to get up and run away. But the young bystander, your pa, witnessed David's fall and she took him in to talk to the Kahan, the priest. And so now after that, your pa is actually back in the ministry, washing dishes, and Becky, Esau's sister, comes up and invites her over to her birthday party. Hi. Hey, you want to come to my birthday party? Oh, cool. I'd love to come. Yay. Yeah, you should come. Everybody's going to be there. Oh, thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you. Oh, cool. When is it? Um, I'm gonna call you, okay? Okay, you have my number? Here. Meanwhile, Esau comes up complaining about being kicked out of the assembly to your pump. <sighs> this is all your fault. This is all your fault. I got kicked out of here because of you. Me? Yeah. And why in the world would my sister even give you an invitation to her birthday party? It's your fault. I got kicked out of here. And now I have to deal with this. And now when I go home, I'm going to be in huge trouble. You stupid butt faces. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Hey, Shalom again. Shalom, David. Um, what are you eating there? Guacamole dipped. I see you got a drink there too. Um, outstanding. Did you bless the food before you ate? Yes. What did you say? Did you say, um, did you mention the name of the Most High over the food? I said, Yahweh, Yahweh, shall bless his food and drink. Very well. Very good. Tota. Tota Raba. Um, nice to see that you're enjoying yourself and something to eat here. Mind if I get a couple of these chips? Hmm. Pretty tasty. Well, you don't have to worry about bullying anymore.
by Esau. We kicked them out of the, the uh, academy. Um, but David, you're going to have to learn to stand up for yourself. Running away from a bully, trying to ignore a bully, never works. And to those of you in the audience, you must learn to stand up to bullies. Don't just run away. That doesn't solve the issue. I hope everyone understand that in the lessons today. Do you understand that, David? You must learn to stand up to bullies. Yes, sir. You're not a very talkative guy, I see. Do you have anything you want to say to the children in the audience, David? If you get bullied, don't just be scared and not tell anyone. Tell someone. Well, well, how about standing up? Grown-ups can't always help. Understand this, David. The bully learns that if you go and tell an adult that his bullying tactic is working because you're too afraid to stand up for yourself. Now, if you're in school, the public school system, or should I say fool system, ha, 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 have certain statues in place that if you fight a bully back, you will both get suspended. Now, I can't figure that one out myself standing up because when someone attacks America, say a terrorist activity, America doesn't turn, tell them to turn the other cheek. He tells them to, hey, praise the Lord pass the ammunition let's go to war so we must learn to stand up for ourselves according to the bible do you know any place that i can learn how to fight sure i have an mma academy you could come to my academy on monday nights at 8 p.m but so with um where where is it well it's located at 555 Yahawa Boulevard, okay. the kingdom of Yah. So, with that, David, I'm going to say, learn to stand up for yourself. And most high willing, we'll see you next week for the assembly on the next Shabbat. Yes, sir. Shalom. Shalom. Meanwhile, your pa gets a call from Becky, Esau's sister, with some horror, horrifying, terrible, disgusting, appalling news that she's actually been uninvited to the birthday party, which her mother says she couldn't attend it anyway. For getting me kicked out of the assembly. Chief factor to understanding Paul's writing. What are you doing, bro? Oh, I'm trying to become an Israelite. That you're a preacher. That you're a priest. That you're a rabbi. Not your rabbi. Yeah. What are you listening to, bro? Well, I'm listening to Tajadak Shah. He's an Israelite. He's super cool. A, a, a what? 
Can you imagine an Israelite, you which I'm trying to become. I'm trying to be an Israelite. You, you do not that, just hear me? From a little titty pool, you can't do it. Oh, you have okay. Been well, anyway, since so I'm milk. trying to become an Israelite, can you get out of my think, room? So you, you just, you're not going to bully me around. Sentence, like, you're out. not going to bully Another me around. Thing that throws you off about we bully other people. Writing. You don't bully me around. Get out of here, pasta head. Get out. Whatever, 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 whatever. Whatever. Get out of here, noodle face. About? Whatever. Trying to become an Israelite. Well, in the modern Hebrew. So things like that have people's heads spinning. Yeah. Yeah, bullying is just no good. I'm going to cover some of this, you know, spotting the symptoms to bully proof your children. So you definitely want to listen. And here we have David. Hi. Esau. What's up? And your pa. Shalom. So, so some of the symptoms of bullying, one of the first steps to stopping bullying behavior is to recognize the symptoms. Do you understand that, David? Yes. Because you was actually being bullied. Do you understand that as well, your pa? God, yes. Okay, Ken, um, because you was actually being bullied, but your bullying type was actually not one that's readily um, recognized by many adults. So you got to recognize that bullying often takes place under the radar of an adult, says Tazadah. We typically look for the overt signs of bullying, such as fighting, verbal threats, and crying. Often, though, the signs are so subtle that they may be overlooked or misunderstood by the average adult. Bullying can be a dirty look. Is that right, Esau? Uh, can be a dirty look. Uh, no, I prefer liking it in my way. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> or bullying could actually be a dirty look, right? Um, it could be... Um, someone rolling their eyes. It could be a nudge. It could be someone that comes up and pinch you. It could be um, a turned shoulder. All the while, the teacher back may be turned to the classroom, uh, says Tazadak. Uh, I have, I have. If you suspect bullying is taking place among your children or your ministry or your students, if you're a teacher, then you're probably correct. If you feel bullying isn't a threat in your classroom or your ministry, then you're probably dead wrong. Tazadak, the author of The Real Hebrew Israelites vs. Edom and Kazaria, and various other books, offered these suggestions. Is everyone listening? Are you listening, Esau? I honestly don't care. <laughs> Know the three kinds of bullying. This is important. There's verbal, there's physical, and there's rational. Rationale. While physical bullying is most common, it's the most common form adults look for, it is the least common in occurrences. More common is the verbal bullying, like jeers, taunts, put downs, and insults that can be actually devastating the kids' self esteem. Unfortunately, it's relatively easy for bullies to get away with this type of behavior because they consciously do it in and out an adult's earshot. Isn't that correct, Esau? Uh, yeah, kind of most likely. I have a question. What's your question, David? Where did bullying come from? Well, I would say that it started with Esau's um, nation. Um, let's continue on. If I could just continue on a little um, longer without being interrupted. So when a target experiences this, he or she is actually... The other type of bullying um, that I would like to um, mention is that, which is actually more common, is rational, rationale bullying, right? Rationale bullying. And this type of bullying is girls that preferably use this type of bullying. It's a weapon of choice for females. 
and one that's actually more powerful than physical or verbal bullying. When a target experiences this type of bullying, he or she is shunned and ostracized from the group. So you look for the signs of the rationale bullying. Tazadak says there are five common signs that rationale and social bullying um, usually shows. So, in other words, there's five signs to look for in rationale bullying. The spreading of rumors. Do you understand that, your pa? They will spread rumors. Mm -hmm. um, the deliberate exclusion or isolation of a child. Do you understand what that means, David? Yes, sir. What does it mean? What does it mean? You said you understood what it meant, David. It means that they don't allow that particular child to play with the others. That's isolation. Esau, where did you go? I can't see you. Uh, uh, dang, I was going to spill a part -time. The next thing that you look for is verbal taunting or harassment. See, often adults misinterpret this as harmless and teasing. Teasing is actually defined as harmless and for fun. Taunting or harassment is when there is a repetitive, deliberate attempt of cruelty and when it's apparent that the target is uncomfortable like David was. He was very uncomfortable mm -hmm. by Esau. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing to look for is hostile body language that Esau often um, exhibits or expression. These expressions such as rolled eyes in a f situation of a female Aggressive staring, just staring you down. And derogatory gestures usually occurs when the adult's attention is diverted. Does everyone understand that? Yes. Abusive emails, phone calls, or other technologies related communication. This is often contributed towards this type of bullying, rationale bullying. So, what do we do about it? We look, we stop, we prevent. So identifying the signs that bullying is actually taking place is a first step to actually stopping it. To break the cycle of violence, though, you must put a stop to the current behaviors and attitudes. Do you understand that, David? You must learn to stand up for yourself. Both kids and the adult must put a stop to it and prevent the future incidents by creating a bully-proof environment. So which one of the things that you could actually do, David, to stand up for yourself? Learn how to fight. Back. Once you've identified bullying behavior, Tazadak and Yapa offer these do's and don'ts for stopping the cycle. Esau, pay attention. Don't minimize or disregard the instance of bullying, whether it's reported by a child or observed by an adult. Don't resolve the situation yourself. See, David was looking for an adult to run to. Doing so only reassures the bully that his or her target is weak. Do you understand that, David? Don't allow the bully child to become a bully in response to his or her feelings of vulnerability. Don't confront the bully or the bully's parents alone. Bullying is a learned behavior. And you'll most likely find yourself being demeaned by the bully or the bully's parents. Get back up. Do pay attention to the targeted kids if you hear kids refer to another child as a loser, as a dummy head. There's a good chance this child is being a target. Do teach children to stand up for themselves. Do you understand that, David? Yes. You must stand up for yourself. You must stop running from Esau. Mm -hmm. Teach them to speak up, either during the incident or by reporting it when bullying occurs. Do teach the kid it's okay and that it's the right thing to do when they report the bullying 
to a trusted adult. And finally, do teach bystanders and targets that reporting bullying is not tattletale. So what is the lesson that you took away from Israelite tells today, Esau? Uh, yeah, I, I just like to bully people, especially, uh, David, because he's a wink, wink, wink. And you, and, he, and all you guys did, you just took me out. Now, I went to karate class yesterday. Whatever. But now... So what? as you see, in other words, Esau has learned absolutely nothing. What did you learn from today's Israel White Tell, your pa? Make sure to get help from an adult if you don't know what to do. And don't feel like you have no power. Stand, get up and stand up for yourself. And what did you take away from today's lessons on Israel White Tells, David? That if you're getting bullied, ask, ask your mom or dad to take you to somewhere that you can learn how to fight and then you can go back and play. Oh, and when the bullet tries to beat you up, at least you'll put up a fight instead of being sorry for yourself. And remember the scripture. Does anyone remember the scripture that I provided earlier in the book of Matthew? About loving your neighbor, meaning your brother, as yourself? Could someone... Give me that scripture one more time to read it to the audience before we go. Uh, I'll do it. No, not Esau. Uh, Your pa, could you please get that scripture in the book of Matthew, yeah. the 22nd chapter. Yeah. Meanwhile, David, I want you to talk to the children out there that may be being bullied. Please say something to the youth out there that may be being bullied in school or in church or wherever. Um, please come closer to the camera and say that, David. Please do not run away or ignore the bully because then they're going to get more mad and then beat you up. Just like Esau did to me. And if you, and if you, and if you don't know what to do, then just go run, but not like when I fell. Um, go run and go to a TV Back up a or little grown bit, up. David. Or go to a teacher or go I'm out. Where's your pa? Did she get a Bible? We're going to read the book of Matthew 22 and 39. Stay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to spit on this Bible. Yeah. <gasps> Some disrespect. Let me I don't see any of you. Um... Matthew. Oh, sorry. Matthew 22, verse 39. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So what does that mean, David? Love thy neighbor as yourself. Who was your neighbor? Who was he talking to? He was talking to Yasha Allah, the children of God, the Israelites. Your neighbor was your brother. So you're supposed to leave your, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Would you bully yourself? Is no. it possible to bully yourself? No, it's impossible. So why is Esau bullying others? Why was Becky bullying others? Because they don't know about the law. Which law? You have answered correctly. Absolutely correct. Oh, you, do you mean the laws question. of God? How on your house shall roll. But right. they watch Tarja Dog Shaw. But they watch him. You didn't know anything. But Tarja yes, Dog does not encourage bullying. We've listened to him. And you could all listen to him on the Deprogram Enlightenment channel, or you could listen to Tarja Dog Shaw by going to his website and joining the congregation at www dot true disciples of Christ dot org. Never mind. I'm not watching Yay. him anymore. I'm not watching him in a pit.
Stop, stop spitting on the Bible. You pit, pit, pit. Stop, stop before I spit on you. Thumbs up. Well, I guess that's the end of today's lesson. Well, bye, guys. See you later. Hello. Be nice to others. Don't be like that brat, uh, Esau. I dare you to call me that. Yahawashim, 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 Y